I think it's time that we start using some aftermarket parts and test them out in zombies. And the conversion kit I'm going to use today is for the WSP Swarm. This one just came out with a weekly challenge, so might as well go ahead and see what it can do. But this conversion kit's a little bit different from what we've seen. This one just makes it so you can use a Kimbo with a WSP Swarm. Uh, other ones will like change like the fire rate of a weapon or completely change like the make of a weapon. This just gives you two of them, and I'm all for that. And this is the build I'm going with. It probably isn't the best build that we could be using, but I'm throwing on a 100 round drum to this. And then I have like a hip fire laser here here in a barrel to increase a little bit of damage and a little bit of range and then this muzzles for a little bit of more damage and a little bit more range as well so let's hop in and test these out oh these are already looking nice I, with these large mags on them it looks like they got nuts and they have a hundred rounds in each of them so we got 200 bullets at our disposal right off the bat and this is all just before pack a punch too and i just grabbed some ammo there and that's 300 that we can hold max in our reserves. Ooh, and there's PhD. But I brought in what I could here so we can get off to a little bit of a start. I have Pack-A-Punch 1, which still keeps us at 100 bullets. No, it says 200, actually. 200 in each gun. That's insane. We got 400 bullets that we can just shoot. Actually, we can just constantly shoot because we're shooting one. Like, if we start shooting our right one before our left one, then we can shoot constantly, basically forever. Because when we're reloading one of the weapons, the other one will still be shooting. This is going to be fun. So let me put the rest of this on here. And we need to get 25,000 points if we want to be able to get Pack-A-Punch 3 and be able to take on the Mega Abomination. So we got to get to work. Is there any good contracts nearby? We have an Outlast. But I think I'm going to do some of these cargo deliveries to start us out. Those ones are usually pretty fast and we can get some good money. But so far, I got zombies, at least in this area. They're like a one-shot kill. But basically every weapon can be a one to like two-shot kill here in this first area while Pack-A-Punch. So this isn't going to be that big of a test until we can actually start Pack-A-Punching and moving on to different areas. And somebody took my contract. Bastard. All right, well, maybe I'll do the Outlast then. All right, let's start this up and try to fly through this. This is our first real test of the whole never stop shooting. They're not giving us a whole lot of zombies to try it on, but once this gun starts reloading, this one continues shooting, and then they switch off. This is gonna be really fun actually to use against the Mega Abomination. I wonder how fast we can take them out, especially if we can get lucky enough to find like a legendary Aether tool or even an epic one. That'll be insane. We got a self revive here and some dead shot. Both of those should help out a little bit too. Maybe it'll be a good test to try to do a bounty contract. Oh, here's our mimic right here. What's going on, pal? Oh, put me down. Oh, you're already dead, actually. That was super easy. We should do more of those. Maybe we go do a bounty in the tier two zone. Okay, let's see what we get. Don't be a disciple. Oh, it's a mangler. Easy. Oh, what's up, mangler? Let's see if we can take you out. Even with only pack a punch one. Constantly getting beamed in the head should help. Oh, he's eating some of these bullets. And he should go down right about here. There we go. Not bad. Actually didn't take that long. Might be faster than the car goes. <gasps> and an epic tool. Let's go. Now we just need a legendary one. But we do have enough for pack a punch three. Where's the pack a punch machine? I'm going to go to this one so we can grab the bounty when we're done. All right, there's our pack a punch two. Now we just need about uh, 13,000 more to get pack three. Anything but a disciple, please. Oh, it's a mangler again. All right, mangler. I'm going to say night night. Oh, it's actually ripping him. He's already dead. See you later, dude. You didn't have a chance to think about what was happening. And there's a little ethereal orb right here. And I just need one more for this mission. Does this give me any points for destroying it? Or getting a mission done. I know I get points from like it just dropping some. But it drops like a hundred at a time really. It's nothing huge. At least if anything we might just get a random perk. This thing's going so far away. Alright we destroyed it. Have a legendary tool for me. Oh wait. Give me my free perk. Quick little stamina up. And a green aether tool. Lame. But we do only need five more thousand. So we must have gotten a decent amount from that. And I just didn't notice. Oh, this one's a disciple and I wasn't even paying attention. And I don't have ammo. Hold on, disciple. I'll be right back. There's a little ammo cache right over here. There we go. This will actually be a very good test for it. Because the disciples just have so much health for no reason. I want to see if this can take him out. Oh, he's just eating these. He does not want to die. Oh, wait. Here we go. Broke his mask. And I'm not letting him take any of my health. Got him to half health. A little bit less than a half. Oh, wait. He's eating this now. There we go. He should be dead, right? Oh, out of ammo. Very unfortunate time. We're going to have to nade him to finish it. Oh, that was sweet. And we didn't really get anything good from that. We just need to do like one more mission and we're done. And this should be it right here. There we go. We now have enough to get pack three. So where's the pack a punch machine? Right over here. Let's make our way to it. Give me pack a punch. Let's go. 
Is our fully tiered up? Now, maybe we can find a rare Aether tool. There is a little nest right here. Let's try it out. I've never really done like a nest or a stronghold here in the three tiered zone. And we got 20 minutes to spare. I just need a, a few more bucks to buy another self revive or just to find one for my own safety. There we go. We cleared it. Anything good in here? Not really. It's kind of like a normal one. Maybe I should try a stronghold instead. There's one right here. So let's try this real quick. This one's going to be tough. And there's already a mimic in my face. Let me out of here. Holy shit. That's a lot of zombies. You know what? I might just call in this jug. I'm not going to use it for anything else anyways. Let's call it in just to make this a little bit easier. Let me use that. Now all you zombies can fuck off for a minute or eat lead. Your choice. Oh, this is the way to get it done. These cysts have a lot of health, though. Oh, but it already ran out. I didn't even get through one room. Maybe I shot way too many bullets. Either way, it bought us a little bit of time, and I killed a decent amount of zombies. And I think we cleared it out. Let's go. There's still a lot of zombies nearby, though, so I don't know how safe this is to loot, but we're going to do it anyways. Oh, fuck. And I think me just leaving this area and coming back screwed it up because all the chests are now gone. I just fumbled. All right, well, we didn't find any self-revives, but we do have enough to buy some now. So I can just go buy one more. Where's the closest shop? I guess we can go here. That's probably the safer one. And then let's go find a mega bomb. Give me a self. And now we have a total of three. Eh, I hope that helps. Hopefully we don't need all those. And for whatever reason, I can't switch my weapons. Like I'm stuck having this out. I don't have another weapon to switch to, but normally I can switch to my fist so that way I can run a little bit faster, but it is not giving me the option. I am going to grab this bounty contract though and see if it's a mega abomination. Nope, it's a mangler. Well, after our scuffle with the mega abomination, we'll go take him out if we can even find one. If I was a mega abomination, where would I be? Oh, there's one right there. Let's go. How much am I doing to him right off the bat? Oh, that's actually an insane amount of damage. My head's already broken and I'm already down. Zombies, leave me alone. Now start shooting one of them for right now. And then get into the both of them. And we're about to go down again. Fuck, dude. So we only have one self revive left now. But we are doing insane damage to him. Throw that decoy. See if the zombies go to it. So I can hit him with a nade. Throw another decoy just to be safe. And that mega abomination disappeared. What the fuck is that? He was too scared to fight me. He knew he was about to get his ass beat. Why does that happen? All right, well, if we're doing that much damage to the mega abomination, let's go try out this uh, mangler real quick. Because then maybe the contract will respawn and we can actually get the mega abomination from that. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. Oh, no. These zombies are dick riding me. Fuck off. Zombies are getting melted, though. Your turn, mangler. Already busted his helmet. Is that half health? Don't you slice me. You stay the fuck back, mister. At like a quarter health. I think I just heard a mega abomination spawn, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. And he's dead. Oof. I can't even check this reward. I don't have any decoys to throw. There is an ammo case right down here, though, that we should probably grab. There we go. All right, that should help out. These things are nasty, dude. Where's the closest shop at here? Over here. So we got another rare aether tool. Okay, we'll save that for next time. Those zombies are floating in the air. Wait, there was a mega abomination that spawned, right? I didn't get that wrong. Let's go have a chat with this bastard. You can't run from me now. I am a little bit scared only having the one self revive. So as long as we don't let him knock me, we should be all right. There we go. Busted one of his faces. Let's throw another decoy. Oh, no. Throw another decoy. Stay away. Ooh, he's right on my ass. Oh, he's stuck in the doorway. Dumbass. Bars. I'm out of ammo. I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Okay, good. He didn't. I'm coming back. Don't you worry. Another decoy for the zombies to fuck off with. Ooh, I'm really hurt. Let's throw a nade on him. Maybe that'll give me a... Frenzied or something to use? Nope. Oh, there's a, one more head gone. You just got one head remaining. There's an insta kill too. I'm gonna grab that for my own safety. Oh, and he's dead. These things are nasty. These are gross. That was our 10th mega abomination kill. I feel like I should have more. We still got four minutes left before the storm starts coming in. Is there any more bounties I can do? It does not look like it. And since I have a deadbolt turret right here, I'm gonna activate this. We'll throw these in here just to keep me safe while I go to the shop and buy some self revives. And I think this guy's also taking on a mega abomination. So since we already know these things uh, are disgusting, 
Let me help him out a bit. There we go. You're welcome, pal. I don't think he's very happy with me. Hear that or he's typing something. Oh no, he gave me stamina. Appreciate you. Oh, and another Mega Abomination spawned. We can just farm this guy. Yeah, shoot your fucking lasers at me. I'm shooting some right back, buddy. Already got him down to half health and we just started fighting him. Okay, but he's got me down to half health. Are right, you bastard? And I'm down again. That's fine. He needed a whole army to take me down. I just need these two bad boys and a few decoys. Bars, dude. Yeah, shoot your lasers again, buddy. See how that works out for you. Oh, pretty well. Well, I'll be right back. I need more ammo. What's up, bitch? Yeah, what happened? Somebody get their head blown up? And he's dead again. Right about now. Don't you run away. Please, please just die. I don't know what's happening. Your hitbox just got disjointed or some shit. But now you should be dead. Right about now. Right about now. Why are you invincible all of a sudden? What happened? Maybe get Omni-Man in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Another epic Aether tool. I'll stow that away. And I think I'm getting a little bit too risky over here. So let's dip. Let's leave. There is one more bounty contract in here, though. But I don't think I have very many self-revives left. I bought a few more, but what are we at? None, actually. So we should just go now. No way I'm going to take out that many Mega Abominations and then just die in the game. That's not happening. So our storm's coming from here. Let's go to this X-Fill and we should be good. Looks like we made it just in time, too. Somebody already called it an X-Fill. What's going on, dude? It kind of looks like they brought some of the zombies back for X-Fill. This is a decent amount right here. Maybe it's just because there's three players, but this ain't bad. Let's go. We made it out. That's a successful X-Fill. We had... I'll say two Mega Abomination kills. That uh, The third one that someone was doing for a bounty, I'm not going to count that because the turret basically took them out. But we made it out with a lot of good stuff. And these things absolutely shred. Well, this might be one of my go-to weapons going forward. I'm definitely saving a custom out of this. And good thing we already have gold on it. We just need to do the rest of our SMGs. But apparently I should have been using these aftermarket parts the whole time because these things are busted. Having two of them is insane. 400 total bullets that you can shoot out, just 200 for each gun is a crazy amount of ammo on top of having like 600 reserve. I did have to go to the ammo station a few times, but that's because I was just nonstop firing them. I wasn't trying to be accurate with them or anything. It's just the constant rain of bullets on whatever you're shooting at. These things will tear through them like it's nothing. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you've showed me since this game came out. We're at 195,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So I truly do appreciate you guys coming by and watching all the videos. It means the world to me. But if there's any other aftermarket parts or weapons that you want to see me use, let me know. I, I know there's some for like the LMG of uh, like the the Pluramount or whatever there's one for like the mcw uh the renettis i still gotta level up to use that one i want to try these all but we'll have to try them another time i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later